Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Generic Garage. On today's episode, we're going to step away from the headers for a little bit because I'm kind of sick of them, and we're going to focus on the shroud for the new radiator that I have. We are looking at three little brand new fans, the brand new radiator, and some 12 gauge sheet aluminum. I've got a table saw, a router, and a CAD file that I worked on the other day. So, stick around. Some of you may be wondering why I went with three fans instead of one big one. Well, I went with one big one for the last couple of engine swaps in this truck, and I always end up with the center of the fan super close to the water pump. So what we're gonna do is go with three fans, and that way the centers of the fans are not anywhere near the center of the water pump, which will be somewhere around here. So I've designed this sheet metal part in SolidWorks, our fans are going to sit just like this. We might hook them up to some switches so that we can enable one, two, or three fans, depending on how cool we need to keep the radiator. And I've also made a basic drawing so that I know exactly what we're going to be doing today in the garage. Here is a look at the flat pattern and everything we're going to be marking on that aluminum. I'm not exactly sure the order in which I'm going to attempt to do things. I think I want to wait to cut these big holes out until we have folded everything. And I'm gonna try to do that with the router. I got some Diablo carbide bits and everything that I've read online says that they will hold up to cutting aluminum like this. So we're gonna get out in the garage and see if we can't bend these little Z's into the sheet metal and then go back and probably try to drill all of the holes and cut these big holes after we've bent the sheet metal. I do not have a metal brake, but what I do have is a piece of angle iron, two bolts, and a hammer. And the plan is to cut this in half, fold this half on top of that half, drill a hole in either end, slide the sheet metal in, screw it down to the workbench, and smack it with a hammer. Hopefully that's going to work out. I do not know because these bends are really close together. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was like a terrible idea. I am exhausted, my hands hurt. It worked, don't get me wrong. But it's not very pretty, and it's not like perfect the whole way across. I've got a blister on me finger from swinging that hammer. And I think I came up with a better idea in the middle of all of this that I should have just done in the first place. So I'm going to make this the bottom because it doesn't look very pretty and we're going to leave the top the way it is 
we're gonna take off a little bit from the top and then I'm gonna use some of this extra material that I have to just make uh, some strips to go right across the top and we'll stack those up and that'll be like a spacer for us and that way I don't have to try to bend this again because that was just kind of a nightmare. My fingers are killing me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that part is done. I did run into a few small issues. One point in the cutting process, the bit fell out of the chuck, so I had to put it back in there. And then I guess the aluminum would get to a point where it got hot enough to just melt and kind of cake on the router bit. And then it kind of just started melting through some of these places. So you can see that there's definitely some cleanup work to do but it's not that big of a deal. I think these fans are gonna hide it pretty well. So I'm not gonna be too critical trying to clean it up because, I mean, you can see that it's not gonna really make that much of a difference. You can't see it anyways, but I'll know it's there, so I'll go ahead and clean it up. And then we'll get all these holes drilled, and then we'll get it slapped on the radiator. All right. Everything is all cleaned up and screwed on nice and tight. For those of you with a keen eye, you may have noticed that I swapped around the location of the fans. On the drawing, two fans are on top and one is on the bottom. On here, two are on the bottom and one is on the top. I just think it looks better like this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna send it. I need to get this put over on the radiator and then we need to drill holes for all of the screws that we'll be using to mount it. 
Now, I'm probably going to change out these nuts a little later on. These are not uh, jam nuts or nylock nuts or anything. So I have a feeling that if I were to leave them like this, these are going to unthread themselves. So maybe some Loctite, probably just go get some different nylock nuts. Well, that ended up better than I thought it would in some areas and worse than I thought it would in some areas. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard to bend the aluminum, but lesson learned. Like I said, I need to go get some nylocks for this radiator, some nylock nuts, just to make sure that they don't fall off while we're driving. And I think that the only thing we have left to do now is test it. Let's fire it up. Oh yeah, that sounds like it's moving some air. Well everyone, that is gonna do it for this episode of Generic Garage. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. I really wanna thank everybody who's liked, commented, and subscribed to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers every day and I can't thank you enough. So with that being said, thanks again everyone. Y'all stay safe, have a great week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.